Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will see how to use AWS CodeStar and Cloud9. It will be for absolute beginners and it will be fully hands-on. So before we start, make sure you select uh, the US East region, US East 1, because it might not work for all regions. So let's just select the US East 1 and then let's go to AWS CodeStar. So you just need to go to AWS console and here in search bar, you have to search code star. Let's click on that. And AWS code star helps you quickly develop, build and deploy applications on AWS. So we need to create a project. And so first thing we need to select the template. So here we can select the templates by filtering here. Or you can also select one of the suggested one. Here, as you can see, we have a Node.js, Python, Go, HTML, Express.js. But as an example of this video, we are going to select Python with AWS Lambda function. Let's just select that and click on Next. And here we want to choose the project name. So it doesn't matter whatever the name project name you choose. But as an example, let's say my first project and as you can see it will automatically give us the project id next we need to select select the project repository so we have uh, two options we can either select code commit or github the code commit basically provided by aws it's aws service so we are going to continue with that and now we can click on next so here we can review so the project template is python so the project name is my first project and the project repository is AWS code commit. Now we are good to go. We can click on create a project. And this will actually takes a few minutes. So I will stop, I will pause the video and until it finishes. So as you can see guys, after a few minutes, our project has been successfully provisioned and you can see the green here. So if you go to below, you will see that we have a new pipeline. As you can see, the new pipeline has been created for us, my first project and the pipeline. We will take a look at it soon. But if you go below, here you can see the project resources. And as you can see here, a lot of things that has been created for us. AWS Code Pipeline, AWS Code Commit, Code Build, Cloud Formation, and Amazon S3. So in order to know that your project has been successfully provisioned, you see that there is a view application. It's now uh, shows it's disabled now. You cannot click on that, but you have to wait because it's still creating. You can, if you go to the pipeline, you see that there are different stages. You can see there is a source, application source, which is AWS Code Commit, and it's succeeded now. It shows that, and it will send us to the build and build, as you can see, package export. It's AWS Cloud Build. It's succeeded as well. And we have a deploy and we have a generate change and you can see it, it will send the build will send to AWS cloud formation and finally it's in last stage which is execute change set and as you can see it's in progress it must show us succeeded and now you can see it show us succeeded now we can go and see the view application but we need to refresh this page and now you can see that we can click on view application and if I zoom it here, you see that hello world message. So it means that our application has been successfully provisioned and it's working fine. So now uh, we want to work with AWS Cloud9. So if you search here Cloud9 and open in a new tab, so you see that AWS Cloud9 basically a cloud IDE, which is an integrated development environment for writing, running, and debugging code. So you can create an environment here. But at the same time, you can create a integrated development environment inside my project. So let's click on create an environment. It's so easy to create an environment. So let's take a look at environment details. So here we have an instance type, which is 22.micro, and we have a VPC, we have subnet, and we need to give environment name. Let's just say my first, or let's say my first environment. And 
and next uh, we can select the cost saving settings as you can see we can shut down this environment after 30 minutes or after one hour or four hours or after a day so we want to shut down after 30 minutes let's just select that and click on create environment and again creating this environment will take a few minutes so i will pause the video and i will start when it's done so after a few minutes as you can see our first environment is ready so now in order to open you can click on this open ide click on that and this will open us in a new tab aws cloud 9 and here as you can see we have a welcome message and you can also see the terminal here so here on the left you can see my first environment and you can see the the files related to that you can see we have a lot of files so now what we are going to do basically we want to change we want to edit this hello world message let's say we want to add some other message to that in order to change that we will go to cloud9 and here we are going to open index.py inside my first environment let's click on the index.py and here you see that we have an output hello world so we want to add some other message so in order to do that uh, let's just create a list because uh, we will add, we need to add more message so let's create a list and inside the list we want to create another string let's say hello world from autobag this is my name it doesn't matter whatever the message you type so now i want to go to the environment so we are right now we are in environment directory if i do ls you see that we have my first project i have to go to that directory my cd and we can basically copy this and paste it here and now we are inside my first project directory so if I do ls, you see that we have index.py. Now I will have to push these uh, changes. So in order to do that, we need to run git first status. And you see that it's showing that our branch master is up to date because we haven't saved this file changes. So let's click on file and make sure we save that. And now if I run a git status again, you see that there is a changes in the index.py now we want to run git add and then dot and then uh, space dot to add everything and then we need to commit git commit and updated welcome message enter and then we need to push git push enter and if you wait a few seconds you see that it will push the these changes now if i go back to the ide and if i go to the pipeline or repository let's just check the repository and here you will see the message you can see the commit message updated welcome message you can also click on this in a new tab and check this in commits you see we have an update welcome message and it will also show you the what changes we have done here you see hello world hello world from Otebec and if you go here to the pipeline you see that the everything will start from scratch again as you can see it will update now it's building again it's in progress now so we need to wait a few seconds or a few minutes until it shows how succeeded and then we can check the the message again here you see that it's not changing now we see the, the the previous hello world message now it shows us that our pipeline is ready you can see the source build deploy and you can see that all of them shows the succeeded now i can go to the the view application again and if I refresh this page, you can see that now it's hello world. Now we want to see the edited message. 
If I refresh this page, you see the hello world, hello world from Autobag. So we have successfully updated the message. So the way we do that, you remember that we went to the cloud nine and here in cloud nine, we added this hello world from Autobag. So this is how you can play with AWS cloud store. This is how you can play with AWS cloud star and cloud nine. So now we want to delete these, everything that we have created so, so far. So first we need to go to IDE. And before that, uh, you can also take a look at the monitoring and see the resources. As you see, there is a AWS Lambda metrics. So you can see that. So you can basically explore other details. Now we want to delete first the environment. Here you have to select your environment and you have to click on my environments and you need to just uh, click on delete here and you need to type delete and delete. So after you delete your environment, you can go to the projects and here we have uh, one project, my first project. I will select that and I will also delete this. So again, this will take a few minutes to delete. So that's all about it for this video. Thank you very much. And I will see you in the next videos.